Castilian, Trifix Entertainment, 1991. Now, that might be pronounced Castilian or Castilia, I don't know, but it's, I'm just going with Castilian because that's just what it looks like to me. But regardless, originally it was called Nebulous and released on multiple home computer systems in the late 1980s. International releases and other ports had titles like Kyorochan Land, Subline, Tower Topple, and of course, Castilian, or Castilian, or this game. So it's a tower climbing game with a unique view and control. You move around a circular tower and navigate doorways and obstacles. It's a neat concept, but it feels kind of bulky. One thing I do like though is when you get hit, you don't just die immediately. Instead, you fall down to the next lower platform. Unless, of course, you're already on the lowest platform, then yes, you fall into the water and die. So just take your time and make your way up the tower. Now, I want to use this spot here to point out how bad the controls are. I'm trying to climb these platforms, but it's pushing me back down. There's no reason for that. There doesn't appear to be ice, an incline, a conveyor belt platform of any kind. It just pushes you back. Look at this, I'm not touching anything and I'm going backwards. Did you see that? I went from doing well to dead just because of some crap enemy placement. And speaking of crap things about the enemies, the collision detection is pretty bad. Look at this! I clearly do not even touch this enemy, but it propels me off the side. Oh, and one more thing. There's no music. So all you hear is that cartoony bouncing sound the whole time. Well, I didn't die, but I ran out of time. I'm done. I had some pretty high hopes, honestly, when I first saw the style of game this is. But that was lost immediately in the first seconds when I fell right into the water through a fake floor platform. The design and concept of the navigation is unique, so I'll give it some credit there. And maybe some of the other ports a little more playable, but this one on the NES just comes up disappointing. 3 out of 10.